Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today we're going to talk about your boy OTF Boss Top and his tweets. Now, I always tell y'all that there's something going on between Boss Top and OTF and the whole little Dirk situation, but <clears throat> y'all swear it's a conspiracy theory. Y'all swear, oh, everything is pretty much fine and whatever the case may be. Just like Mimo, um, if I wasn't the first, I definitely was one of the first to tell y'all that Mimo 600 and Lil Durk's relationship was very tense. And y'all can actually go back on the channel and check out the videos that I said that in. Um, a lot of times y'all, oh, you chasing cloud, you, you chasing it. Um, you a conspiracy theorist, whatever the case may be, right? However... It came out that, you know, pretty much Lil Durk and Mimo, you know, ain't really as close as people thought they were. And I've already made a video about Boss Top not really being close with Dirk as y'all think he is. You know, but like I said, once again, you know, you you chasing it. Y'all gotta read body language. Y'all gotta read like between the lines. You know, um when these guys say certain things. And they can't be talking about their ops. You know, um, some of these things that you hear them saying, it's like, if I was your friend or if I was somebody close to you, whatever the case may be, would I be saying that? You you got to put yourself in a position, you know? Um, and like I said, if we was close, we was mans or whatever the case may be, would I be saying the same thing that these guys are saying in their tweets? They're not talking about their ops. So who else they talking about? Now, I say all that to say this, right? I feel for the longest, Boss Top, as well as Lil Dirk, they've been throwing um, subliminals at each other, right? And one of the most notable ones lately or as of recent was the whole the baby situation um, with NBA Youngboy. And you had the Boss Top, he actually put out, you know, uh, um, a post on Instagram with King Vaughn's album and in the caption he said pick a side in word you know with the ninja emoji and then put King Vaughn I mean at King Vaughn from the old better than you know X Y and Z whatever the case may be and then out of nowhere you see it change he changed the caption he took out the pick a side part but later on down the line you see Lil Dirk he actually put up a post right after that on his story saying that it's police, this and that. Stop responding to, you know, people talking about King Vaughn. We're not into it with them. Like I said, we did a whole video on that. So y'all can go check it out if y'all want. Check the um the channel to catch up, whatever the case may be. So let's get into these tweets, man. Now, today on Twitter, Boss Top took to his Twitter account to tweet. And he said this. He said, quote, this ish all a gimmick. Don't get fooled thinking you could trust a MF. Trust or get somebody killed. Now pay attention. Once again, when you correlate and trust with anything or anybody, you're not talking about your ops. You know, so first and foremost, who is he talking about? Let's get that question out there. Who is he talking about? All right. And pay attention to what he said. He said, this ish is all a gimmick. Don't get fooled. So like I always say, this ain't nothing new to me, but however, y'all got to read it between the lines. Like I'm presenting it to y'all so y'all can see what's going on. And like I say, he's not talking about his ops or anybody. Like He's talking about somebody close or people that surround him. He said, this ish is all a gimmick. Don't get fooled. Think you could trust a MF. You ain't trusting your ops. Who you trusting? And trust to get somebody killed. Now, we all know that at the end of the day, when you had King Vaughn in a situation, right? I think King Vaughn was that that that, that connection between O Block and Lil Durk. Hence, this is why you see his right hand man, um, Duke. He don't mess with Dirk at all. <laughs> at all. He don't sugarcoat it. They don't sugarcoat it. You know, um, they're not reposting each other's music. No, none of that. And that right there 
it should raise an eyebrow for y'all that swear that somebody's clout chasing or, or conspiracy theories, whatever the case may be. King Von let it be known that Duke was his like his right hand man. And if Dirk is supposed to be like his right hand man or his twin or you know whatever they say, why aren't wouldn't those two people out of all people be the ones to either do music together or support each other or be close to each other? Why haven't that connection connected? Alright? So when he said trust would get a would, would get us somebody killed. At the end of the day, I think personally, Boss Hop know a lot more than what he says between King Vaughn because we all know that situation right there is very, very sticky. We all know that situation right there. <laughs> it's a weird situation how that thing went down. Between videos that we've seen and just the whole situation period with the manager, 100K track, everything. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. Like I said, it's a couple videos we did on that. Y'all go check it out for yourself. Anyway, in another tweet, he said this. He said, quote, some people live for the fortune. Some people live just for the fame. Right? Then in the next tweet, he said, quote, man, I done been through hell and back. I always been hated on the internet. Ain't no love in this ish for real. Kick me while I'm down. I'm shooting yo B word, A word when I get up. What y'all think he talking about? Alright, like I said, um, it is what it is, man. I'm just bringing this to you guys' attention. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this. Because at the end of the day, right after all them tweets, um, and right after the last one I just read to y'all, like literally right after, Dirk tweeted, quote, any moment. You see what I'm saying? So... These are things that you guys got to um, look at yourselves, man. And um, stop thinking that just because these guys don't outright say that they beefing or outright say that this is that and that. Stop thinking that they ain't in tune with each other. I'm not saying like they want to kill each other or they this, that. I'm not saying that. However, they're not as close as a lot of us think. I forgot who was the guy. I forgot his name. But he said there's a lot of things going on in O Block that the outsiders don't know. You know, um, so like I said, once again, I'm not saying they want to they want to take each other lives. I'm not saying that they want to do crazy harm to each other. Who knows? Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. However, it's not as close as we think it is. And a lot of these tweets, a lot of these subliminals, you know, it's, it's a lot of things flying around that um, pretty much tell us that we just got to connect the dots ourselves. So. Once again, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. You know, what you think about Boss Top tweets, what you think about Lil Dirt tweets. And um, get back to us, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.